Water is essential to life, and a clean, reliable, and affordable source of drinking water is fundamental to the health of citizens and the economic viability of any community. Nanaimo has a designated community drinking water shed, but is it properly protected? No, it is not. The Nanaimo watershed was privatized as part of the ENN Railway land grant to bring British Columbia into the Canadian Confederation in 1871. The whole east coast of Vancouver Island, from Campbell River south, was part of this land grant, which disregarded Aboriginal rights and title. The Stanamo Treaty of 1854 was ignored by this land grant. Other community drinking watersheds are also affected by the legacy of the ENN land grant, including Comox, Courtney, Port Alberni, Parksville, Duncan, and Shawnigan Lake. Shawnigan Lake is a designated community drinking watershed. The original owners of the forest land in the headwaters to the lake were good stewards, but those lands were sold, parceled into smaller lots, and now there are four mining operations and a proposed toxic waste site in the watershed. Could this happen in another privately owned designated drinking watershed, such as Nanaimo's? Yes, it could. Right beside the Shawnigan Lake watershed is the Souk Lake Community Drinking Watershed for the Victoria and Capital Regional District. This watershed is publicly owned and protected. It too was part of the ENN land grant, but was purchased by the city 100 years ago. No human activities are allowed in the watershed except for drinking water management. The natural forest helps store and filter water, keeping treatment costs low and ensuring a pristine source of water. Jack Hull, the retired general manager of integrated water services at the Capital Regional District in Victoria, explains the CRD's approach to watershed management. Our treatment costs are very low because we control what happens in the watershed. We have a very, very high quality water source. It's managed from the perspective of providing drinking water and we restrict public access so that you're not bringing potential sources of uh, contamination into the watershed. We have a very high quality water source. The CRD recently purchased the Leech River watershed and are letting it grow back to a natural state so they can use it as a future water supply as the population in the region grows. By purchasing the leech, we're able to restore the leech to its uh, natural condition so that we're not going to see those major uh, turbidity spikes in the river and the sediment loads. And in the future when we need it, we'll be able to continue with the current uh, approach to treating the water that we currently have. Nanaimo's community drinking watershed has been extensively logged, leading to erosion and turbidity, as evidenced by the recent boil water advisory in December. Weyerhaeuser, the multinational corporation that owned the watershed until 2005, was caught using fertilizer, contaminated with toxins, in the watershed. Two forest companies currently own the watershed lands, but they could easily be sold to another foreign multinational. Private ownership and ongoing industrial activity pose a serious threat to the long-term safety of our water supply. What would the Nanaimo community watershed lands be worth if they were properly regulated in the same way that the Victoria watershed is, with no activity allowed? The current watershed is 230 square kilometers, a huge area, but the Jump Lake Reservoir and the three valleys that feed it are much smaller. We think it's time that the most important areas of the watershed are properly protected, starting with the valleys and streams that feed the Jump Lake Reservoir. Allowing these valleys to grow back to a natural state will help with groundwater storage in the warmer months and will provide a natural filtration system that reduces runoff, turbidity and the possibility of contamination. We could ensure a pristine water source if the intake pipe was extended from the South Forks Reservoir to the Jump Lake Reservoir and only used the intake at South Forks during the hot summer months. This would reduce turbidity and lower filtration costs. Also, if the city is thinking about sites for an additional reservoir, the valleys upstream from Jump Lake should be considered as possible sites. In 2011, the Union of British Columbia Municipalities passed a Ladysmith City Council resolution calling for control of community drinking watersheds with a request that the provincial government develop a funding program that facilitates local government acquisition 
of both the watershed and adjacent land for those local governments with water systems on privately owned land. Nanaimo City Councillors and members of the Nanaimo Regional District Board voted for this resolution. We agree with it and believe it should be followed through on. We are calling on the City of Nanaimo and the Nanaimo Regional District to work with First Nations, senior levels of government and the current landowners to begin a process for purchasing or expropriating the Nanaimo Community Drinking Water Shed and properly protecting it for community drinking water purposes now and for future generations. Water is the most important asset to publicly own and control for the health and viability of the community, both ecologically and economically.